All right, hello everyone, and welcome to game two in a series I have between, I don't think it's really a series, I think these are just practice games. So game two in a set of practice games, I have between Marine King and Loner. A Marine King spawning as the blue Terran player here on Metalopolis. Meanwhile, we have Loner spawning as the red Terran player. Hopefully I will be able to keep track and distinguish him away from Fever as, and I tend to sometimes read the little name right there and I just actually accidentally say fever. So we now have Loner currently sitting on a Supply Depot. Both players doing the standard build order so far. Marine King opting to go for a Supply Depot on this front door, and we'll see what exactly is happening. Um, I do. I still have Chloe sitting on my lap. She seems to have calmed down as soon as I started talking, so maybe she just likes the sound of my voice, or maybe she likes to um, watch Stevie the SCV constantly just mine more minerals. Both players should be getting a barracks up in just a moment. A barracks being placed down over here, and you can tell by the positioning on this barracks that Marine King really wants to either put down an early reactor or an early tech lab. B both choices or both options are viable. We'll see what exactly the strategy will be. We now see a refinery being placed down. <coughs> oh, sorry, I stalled on my daughter. Um, a, a refinery now coming in from Loner first, and no refinery yet coming in from Marine King. So. Um, I may have to take that back. Maybe he doesn't want to go for a go for an add-on at all, as all add-ons take some sort of gas, and he may be going for a fast expansion. And by the looks of it, he, yeah, he probably is going to go for a fast expansion since he's not mining any gas at all. He will be upgrading to an orbital command now, training up some marines. SCV now coming in, and quickly, Loner is going to come in here and see exactly what he wants to see. Sees that there is no gas down and knows that the only unit that his opponent can really train at this time are a bunch of marines. We'll see if Loner tries to go for a factory of his own, and with the factory of his own, he will be able to get Hellions, and those Hellions are going to be able to deal a lot of damage. We can see now going into a double gas. Oh, so that was more of a head fake there, trying to, um, trying to show that he is not going for any gas at all. And as soon as that SCV left, going in for double gas, we now have a factory coming in from, coming in from Loner, so Loner now getting that factory... And we'll see what exactly is going to be happening there. Two Marines, both of them are split apart. Making sure that there, if, if there is a Hellion, the Hellion is not able to get any splash damage across the two of them. And now a bunker being placed up on that front door there. More Marines are being trained. A second barracks now being placed down. We should be getting a factory down in just a moment. Where is that factory? The factory being built right over here instead. And now off of double gas, we may even go into Banshees as that's the only strategy that I know of that ne really needs that amount of gas early on off of one base play. Bunker will be completed in just a moment. There are a lot of Marines guarding this position here. We now see a reactor being built here. So what may happen is that a reactor is going to be built, allowing the double training of Hellions, and then perhaps a starport later, or maybe a starport later, as he still has six SCVs on gas. One SCV now trying to back off. And the Marines may be able to catch up to that one SCV. SCV now trying to run back around. Will it be able to get up that ramp? No, not at all. As that reactor and would have blocked it anyways. But at least revealing the reactor would have been some telltale sign of the strategy that is trying to be placed down. We now have an SCV moving out in order to do some scouting. Marine King still doesn't know where Loner, Loner is on this map. We now also have the factory coming in. Um, the factory, not quite sure. It, it looked like it wanted to lift off for a second. And then it re-landed, and now there's a starport. There we go. We are going to have a swap there. And now we are going to have um, what uh, the Banshees perhaps be trained out of here. And those Banshees should be able to deal a significant amount of damage. We are going to get Siege Tanks, and now with Siege Tech as well. So this is just a simple tank Marine. And it is going to be one tank with a whole bunch of Marines, as there is a lot of Marines being trained off of those reactors on those barracks and that means that it's going to be a very very heavy push there is currently one banshee being trained and now i believe that marine king needs to start saving up much of his energy no now he's also calling down um, calling down additional mules so i don't know how he's going to be able to break that front door ramp as there are four marines right there we also see finally a banshee being trained siege tank with siege tech as well and now out moves this army of marines and um, Marines and Siege Tanks, no upgrades at all on any of those units. You can see Siege Tech is nearing completion, Siege Tank, and now currently Supply Lock. So Loner, or sorry, Marine King needs to get some more units there as one Marine or one SCV is trying to run around that corner. A second bunker is going to be placed down and bless you to my daughter as the, oh, a triple sneeze. Okay, so she is my daughter. 
So now Siege Tank's gonna try to and push their way up here and now getting a lot of damage. No scanner sweep though. Siege Tank now gonna try to push over a little bit and now we have some SCVs coming off the mineral line as well to try to repair there. Now with no real way to gain sight onto that high ground, this is going to be an issue. Or what is Marine King going to do? Marine King now gonna perhaps just move up a little bit closer. The Siege Tank has not been completed by Loner yet. So Loner unable to siege any of his tanks. Oh, now finally able to siege his tanks. And now this is going to become a very, very bad battle indeed. This siege tank now going to take a beating as well. Now in comes that scanner sweep. Both sides battling back and forth. This siege tank going to get taken down. More Marines trying to walk up that ramp. But it looks like Loner is just way, way, way too well fortified. So, um, yeah, I believe that was just Marine King's issue. Marine King got a little bit greedy. And this one, and how many kills? Did, yeah, Banshee also got 17 kills over here. And, and tr really hard time trying to keep track of both of those bases. Maybe I should rewind the replay and and, and actually see how effective those um, Banshees really were. So, yeah, so that Banshee already comes in um, comes in with a decent number of kills. Yeah, Banshee already on 10 kills now. Cleaning up many of these units over here without taking any damage at all. Marines not trying to come over, trying to shoot it down, but the Banshee is able to two-shot many of those units as these siege, as these Marines are trying to put pressure. Now a, a nice scanner sweep up to the top ground, but yeah, that Banshee is pretty much unchallenged in the air and already up to 17 kills. And now, um, yeah, Marine King realized that he does have to GG. So that is game two in this series. Both games really, really short. One Banshee able to clean up multiple SCVs and some Marines as well. Marine King not using that scanner sweep or using that scanner sweep a little bit too early on some additional mules. And by using it on those mules, he was not able to scanner sweep this high ground and try to blast away at these bunkers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Marine King and Loner here on Metalopolis.